Day seven of the Murphy Challenge, Seven Steps to Quit. We're talking about that anti-inflammatory drink in the early morning hours and why it always gets a thumbs up. We get, we get, we get. By the way, be sure to follow us on Facebook as well as on YouTube and subscribe here. If you like this material, feel free to share it with anybody. Coming on for the morning stretch. Ah, uh, and now, whew, it's uh, time for me to do what I typically do in the morning time before I get going on a whole lot of stuff is trying to get my morning anti-inflammatory in place. And for me, it goes along with some of the other routines that I, that I do in the morning time because like many of us, you know, I have to also be mindful of my medical condition and take my medication, space it in between different supplements and all that type of stuff. These are the meds that I actually have prescribed to me. And, um, and then I may, you know, use a little black seed oil on my skin if I need to in the morning time. But generally speaking, we go ahead and we get this in first, you know, after uh, elimination. All right. Get this in. And we start off with a jug of water. That I get, I, I bring down upstairs from downstairs because I have a a filter. So we start off with water in the morning time. With that, drink this whole thing of water. It helps to activate your body so that you can eliminate a morning time. Because see, that's what you should be doing in the morning time. Every morning, you should start off with a significant elimination when you wake up. That cleans your bowels and cleans your stomach and open and, and allows you to transition from there straight to over here to the yoga mat in the morning time. Now, I got this idea from a guy uh, that I saw on, on, on YouTube with different anti-inflammatory ingredients. So I decided to put a little something together myself. Some people do this with uh, almond milk. I do it with water and it's my turmeric tea mixture. You know, and I wanna go over one, one item at a time. What's so great about this particular mixture for this, uh, for this program that we're doing? Because uh, you gotta realize I have inflammation at least in my lower back and in my right knee and it, it, it inflammation means like pain so there's some things that i learned that's supposed to be really good for your testosterone level as well as inflammation and with your gut as well so here's what i do i try to put a drink together that will not um cause my fast to go out of whack for example apple cider vinegar with the mother in it okay now there are several health benefits of apple cider vinegar in fact here, let me show you a few of those right here, as you can see on this graphic. Um, and, and, and when utilizing a lot of these benefits that you see right here, um, it, it helps with inflammation in the morning time. It helps with your gut uh, reset. It helps with a lot of things dealing with digestion, but also it takes more calories to digest this than the calories that it actually has. So it actually gives you a negative um, calorie intake. So in a sense, it makes it negative. It, it, it costs your body more energy to digest this than the actual calories that are in the apple cider vinegar with the mother. And you want the one with the mother for the health benefits. This is the main ingredient for inflammation that I find very helpful. Turmeric powder. Now, it's, it's very yellow. It can stain your teeth very easily. So it's very important that you go brush your teeth immediately after this. Rinse your mouth out and brush your teeth. But always... Use pe black pepper with turmeric together. Not a whole lot. It just only takes a couple of sprinkles. But always use turmeric powder with black pepper because it absorbs into your body a lot easier. The The, the list of benefits of, of turmeric powder is endless. I mean, take a look at some of this information here, for example. And then my final ingredient I include right here is ginger powder. But I also use ginger, the powder version of ginger, for this uh, so that I can make my, my drink. And then, not last but not least, but one of the things that's most important is I'd use lemon. Room temperature seems to be easier to deal with. But all this goes into here and makes for that concoction that's supposed to be so good for you. First thing is, cut this baby in half. Squeezing the juice in there. 
trying to avoid the seeds as much as you can. You can't avoid them all together. You just have to pick them out later. Squeeze the other half. Nothing worse than a shriveled up half of a lemon anyway. You might as well use the whole thing because the juice you get out of them. Now I know there's gotta be a juice squeezer that's a lot, make it a lot easier. But, but right now I'm just doing this the caveman way, right? So now, apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. I've got the uh, juice in here without the seeds. So I usually do about three, two to three capfuls of this stuff. Don't need a whole lot because it's it's very acidic. Um, usually about three, three or four. I'll do about four today, I guess. Remember, apple cider vinegar with the mother in it, okay? Okay, so I'm... Move it off here. Take that whole amount right there, right? Got it. There it is. Now, how much pepper do you put in there? Because that was a, a teaspoon, right? You only put a couple of sprinkles. Look how you can even see it react. Watch. See, it kind of makes it move a little bit. But that's all you need for that. Now we need to go on to this ginger, okay? Okay, so. And just to be, you know, equal about it, I just go ahead and grab, you know, a teaspoon of ginger too. Level it off. You know? It's all a glorious little mess down there, right? Almost look like egg, don't it? But remember, you've got the lemon, right? Apple cider vinegar, pepper, uh, ginger, and turmeric all in here together. Try to mix it up. It's never going to blend up, blend, blend, blend up. You know what I mean? You can put it in a blender and try to do it more like that. And then I also use filtered water. Not straight out of the tap, but filtered water. Now, when you put more water in here, it's going to make it mix a little bit easier because you just have more water to mix up with everything. You might get an occasional sneeze from all the pepper. At least I do that sometimes. But, like, you know, you can warm it up. Um, don't put any sugar in it. Don't put any cream in it. Uh, if you put almond milk in it, if you use it with almond milk, then it will break you fast. That's why I like using water. If you didn't do anything else but the yogurt in this, I think you'd be doing great in and of itself. Then I gulp this down. I'm going to have to gulp it down fast. It don't taste good. I mean, it's apple cider vinegar and lemon. You know, no sugar. No chaser. As soon as you finish drinking it, as soon as you finish drinking it, like I'm doing right now, immediately wash your mouth out. Now, one of the more important things I try to do for success in doing that is set myself up the next day for success. So I put everything back on one little tray. Okay? And I put it over here. And so what I do is I clean out my cup, economy of uh, storage, put everything here so it doesn't get away from me, have a couple of lemons already warming up the room temperature, have my measuring cups and sticks, I mean, and, 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 and spoons rather, cleaned off and ready to go with my pepper and everything. I want to make sure I don't have to think about anything, but when I come back to this, I'm ready to go without having to really put any more thought of it other than just putting it together the next morning. That's the key to make sure everything's set up so you don't have to set it up later.
and slow you down. So there we have it. Day seven, dealing with the anti-inflammatory drink. Stick around for day eight. We're going to address that anti-inflammatory situation in a bit of a different way with more yoga. <laughs>